welcome. I'm just going to keep saying welcome yes. to Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. Yeah. This is week 67 of our jam. What? And, yep, 67. We are getting up there in age. And right before we start, I am going to be sharing some crucial information with you. So, da da da. This is our jam. When you came into the room, you picked either musical or non musical. And actually, usually we have four teams. Tonight, we might end up with two or three teams, and which gives us more time to play. Uh, we will have we will be doing montage sets. And how you know it's your turn is when you hear your name called. And when you do hear your name called, you're going to be turning on your camera and going on as you're introduced. And then at that point, one of you up there will ask for a suggestion. And that is what you will start your mon the basis of the beginning of your montage anyway. Now the scenes don't have to be related. And what you if you haven't been here before, the way to get in and out of a scene is through sweeps and tag outs. So we are going to practice our famous sweep. So could everybody turn on your cameras? And you're going to turn on your camera when you want to get into a scene. And you're all going to go what, everybody? Sweep. 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 And at sweep. that point, everybody in the scene will turn off their cameras. And you will start a new scene with whoever else pops up with you. The other thing you can do is do a tag out. And in that case, there is someone who is in that scene that you want to someone's character that you want to continue to interact with you will tag out whoever else is in the scene they will leave you will hop on as a new character interacting with that person so you just say tag out and their name and whoever's name you call is going to go out you could also tag people in if there's a character that was in before you know tag back in my mom if your mom was in the previous scene now you will have a timer who will you'll find out who that is so pay attention they're going to be timing and at about two minutes before it ends you're seeing they will be holding up their phone to let you know that and at that point uh, you might want to try it especially if you're in a musical improv set you might want to get into that scene so that you can have a really nice final number and or if you're on the scene maybe find a way to get the others in there if you're not in the scene please keep your video and audio muted now if this is your set and you're not in the scene you can keep your audio on so that you can give some support to the people on your team playing however if there is any background noise that we hear we will have to mute you just like that so uh, make sure that you go to your video settings, hide non-video participants so you don't see any of those little boxes like I'm seeing now because I haven't done that yet. And you are going to want to be on. So if you see in the right hand corner speaker view, that means you're on gallery view and that's what you want to be on. You want to see everybody there, not just one person. So if you see gallery view, click on it so that it, it can get, uh, so that you'll have that. Uh, as you know, we're streaming live on Facebook. So hi, mom. And we have some sensitive topics, uh, political, COVID-19, religion, spirituality, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. These are examples. And we also have banned topics, no flashing. Uh, no talk of rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, racism, any isms, mental illness, or anything that makes the person's identity the butt of the joke. And these are examples. So you probably know yourself, things that you, you're not going to want to talk about. If you see a scene that something really bothers you, you can call a timeout. Or better yet, you can just sweep the scene. If you're in the scene, you can sweep it. If it's your set, you can sweep it. If you're a person in the audience, you can sweep it. And if there is something that feel that makes you feel uncomfortable, please let either myself or one of the other volunteers know what's bothering you so we can address the issue and make sure it doesn't happen again, because we want this to be a fun and safe space for everybody. Here are some tips. Uh, one person speaking at a time, 
treat each other with respect, no trolling, use your actual face, you know, not a puppet. Self-manage your playing time. You're gonna see other people come up with you. Try to make sure if there's five people there that all of those five people get in, especially if they haven't been here before, they might need a little more encouragement. When you're improvising music, don't worry about it. We have uh, an MD who's gonna go along with whatever you sing. And finally, have fun, laugh, enjoy life. Stick around to the end because we have a group game after we have our sets. Um, we will have a featured troop announcement for next week. We will have feedback, networking, light mingling, and please spread the word. We have two face. We have a Facebook page, a Facebook group. We're on YouTube. You can see all of our old videos on YouTube. So after tonight, you can go see your video. Go to YouTube. Go to our our and please like us there because we want to get as many like us on facebook like us on youtube we are so desperate to be liked it's it's sad all right ah wait before I, oh wait that didn't look good <laughs> i saw an empty page all right let's get a drum roll and while i show you who, something you're not gonna see all right so oh no uh, this is so wrong there we go this is our <laughs> hey. Yay. And I'm very excited because I actually know Christine in person. So I'm really looking forward to it. This is Soto Voce, and uh, it's a musical group. So that is seen. At this point, I am going to call up our host for Team One, who will be, oops. Hi. Hello, Laura. Thank you, Angel. You're welcome. So now the time has come to know our first team of the evening, our non-musical team. And so your timekeeper will be Danelle. Danelle will inform you when you will have only two minutes left. And this will be a 25-minute set today, yes. And so on the team we will have Alex Tyler from Miami. We will have Michael G.A. from San Bruno, California. Yeah, we'll have Alex Lee from La Canada. Come on, Alex Lee. We'll have Greg Little from Berkeley. We will have David Shapiro from Chicago, directly from Chicago, and also Karen Tardif from Texas. Welcome, everybody, and good luck. Test, testing microphone. Great. Uh, Hi, some... Rick. Oh. All right. Can we get a suggestion? Any, <laughs> any, uh, the last place that you went on vacation? France. 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 I heard France. Thank, Thank you, you France. Thank, Thank you, France. You, France. you um you you want to go up there. I since I was born practically. Wow. Hey, hey, how about, sweetie, you go, and I'll just wait down here. I'll find a little cafe or something. Take as long as you want. Just... I, uh, um, well, so here's the thing. I didn't want to, I was assuming that you would also want to go, but I, um, I, need, I need some support from a, a strong you, individual like yourself. You need support. Yeah. I, as, um, I want to go, but I, but I need, I'm, I'm scared of. Oh, that's, that's awkward. I'm terrified of heights. That's not what I want to hear. And, and <laughs> no amount of support, nothing personal is getting me to, that is much bigger than the Lego set. Um, it is, I admit, I admit that. Um, um, can we, uh, this is awkward to say, but can, can we go through this conversation again where you say, I am super confident about going up there and I will hold your hand and 
exude that confidence. Hello, come on. We have people waiting behind you. Let's go, let's go. What uh, are yeah, we going to do? This we need to go very quickly. I need Look, to just one it. moment. Just one moment. We're tourists. I'm sure you understand. We need a moment. I could tell. I could just look at you and know you are tourists. But we have a line of people behind you that want to go up and have magical moments. And you're I... just waiting. Oh. Oh, oh, look, he's a local. He can wait a second. Yeah, he's probably been up here for eight times. <laughs> Locals don't wait, okay? Are they going through or not? <laughs> I I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, okay. Daniel, Daniel, I am a reasonably confident person, and if we hold hands, I think that together we can exchange enough support that we can go up the Eiffel Tower elevator without either of us simultaneously having a panic attack. Oh, this is what I wanted to hear. Thank you. We're we're ready. We're ready. Um, person okay. To... Okay. Proceed. Proceed. Thank you. Oh, oh my yes, gosh. Thank you. You're oh. maybe late for thank you. breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, you need to get off of the Arc de Triomphe. Sir, I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to get my pet pigeon. Okay. You do, there are literally millions of pigeons here. Friends, how do you know that one's your pet, sir? I honestly, right now, I see twenty, at least twenty-five uh, different pigeons uh, up there. You, you. you Okay, you think all pigeons look the same? Yes. <laughs> it's Yes, I do. <laughs> Come right out at it. <laughs> sir? Yeah, sir, no. if, it's your, if it's really <laughs> your pigeon, it will come back to me. You need to come down off the monument, okay. sir. Okay, I I, I'm, I need to te teach you a, a thing or two. Have you ever, ever had any kind of... Have you ever had children? No, sir. Okay, have you had siblings? Yes, sir. Okay, do you just consider all your brothers and sisters look exactly the same? Well, actually, I, I had, I'm a part of triplets, so yeah. Um, and we have another brother who looks sort of, I mean, we all used like a fake, his fake ID, so what is this? You gotta come down, sir. I'm not talking to you about this earlier. Come on. Okay, this pigeon is like a brother to me, okay? You're just a little bit spooked. Okay. Okay. Since you've been talking, half of them have flown, flown away and half of more have flown back. You haven't. Which one is yours? Which one? How long is it going to take? The, the one in the blue shirt, okay? <laughs> the, the rest are just common pigeons. <laughs> one of the glasses? Yeah. Oh, he, oh I, that's an intelligent looking one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm done right there. Okay. Wait. Yes, sir. The, other, the other bird seemed to be like pecking at him. It's like, yeah. I think oh. your bird is a nerd. Okay. Oh, no. Stay back. It's a bully pigeon. <laughs> oh, no. I'll, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get you, Francis. All right, let's sweep. <laughs> All right, Donnie, uh, thank you for coming back to Pigeon School. Um, for us to, for you to pass this class, uh, you, you're not flying away, Donnie, okay? Don it was a, it was a, it was a gesture of like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to really commit to it this time. Uh, real pigeons don't uh, flap their wings like that. Okay. Uh, oh. pit I always do it. <laughs> the wrong times. You, you're going to fail pigeon school. Okay. Like I, Donnie, I don't understand. What have <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Keep, stop flapping. Real pigeons don't flap their wings. 
The wings are by their side. That's the oh, first it's, step. It's a, it's a, it's a reaction. Donnie, pigeons don't cry. Uh, oh, man. That really makes it okay. I, it was, it's like, just you saying that. I, I'm going to I'm a strong girl. You're Don, Don, Donnie, you're a strong pigeon, Donnie. You're a strong pigeon. Yeah. Hold back the tears. Dag out, Alex, bring in somebody else. I got to tell you, Maurice, I just love feeding pigeons in the park. That one's, that one's over there. He keeps flapping his arms for no reason, but he's, he's you know, really Cool. He's, oh, he's, he's, his feelings are right up. Don't you see? His feelings are right up there. And his, right at, his, his feet, he's wearing his heart on his shoulder. He's very, look at him. Are you going to feed me? Oh, sure. He's running from the seed. I don't understand. Oh, yes, but he's so, I've never seen a pigeon with such, in touch so much with his feelings. <laughs> Thank you. Think about it. We don't want the pigeons taking over the park. Oh, taking over? This is like I express myself and pigeons are taking over? No, I think if if what I think is right, if they start fe feeling and expressing their feelings, they'll be more stress, we less always, stressed probably. And we always felt, I, I'm just expressing the, Yes, but if they start having feelings, maybe they'll feel like we're not feeding them enough. We already do. And then they'll start to attack us, and then we won't have a park to go to. We just hide it all the time. Uh, tag out everyone except Greg. Uh, this this is mighty unorthodox. We've never had a pigeon like submit to the poetry slam before. <laughs> Yeah, it's... I mean, you do seem pretty emotional. I mean, people are pretty emotional with their poetry. <laughs> I felt this was the place. Yes. Um, it's... Is there time for a reading? <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it, it's already it's already started. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure, like, we, uh, I'm not sure people will... Let the like pigeon read! Okay. Pigeon, pigeon, we've never this, pigeon, we've never pigeon, let it pigeon, pigeon, we've, pigeon, we've pigeon, never done this oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, fine fine cool brilliant thank you thank you Beth. oh that was I can't do that. That's special. That's... Mm. That, that was pretty emotional. Sweep. <laughs> so with all due respect to poetry, mm -hmm. I put a bunch of words and phrases into this fishbowl here, and I'm going to pull them out. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can win the poetry competition with just pulling them out in an order and writing that down. For the competition? Yes. So okay. awesome. Here we yeah. go. No, randomness could not win poetry. People, people will know. People will know that the feeling is not there. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. this is supposed to be like an extemporaneous word of mouth, free thought competition. Similar to like a, a rap battle, but really not not as not as much. So if they see you pulling them out doing that, oh no no see that's the beauty. I pulled them out here in our shared kitchen, oh. memorize it, and then recite it on stage as if it's just flowing from this brain of mine. And then I'll win that free coffee certificate. They wouldn't just give that to anyone. 
go yeah. to the poetry and competition? I'm skeptical, but I'm excited <laughs> to see this happen. Yes, we would like to announce the winner of the Poetry Slam. They brought <laughs> new levels to poetry today. It was very post-structuralist, the way they played with language and word and sound. It was breathtaking. It was new. It was right on. Michael, come get your free coffee certificate, Michael. <laughs> march, march, march. Stairs, stairs, stairs across the stage. Thank you. Thank you. I'll use Would this you certificate. Like any other words? Yes. First of all, I'm going to spend the certificate on any medium sized coffee of my choice. Thank you very much. And also, I got you all good. I got you good. I had that memorized and I generated that randomly from slips of paper that was written in a kitchen. A kitchen oh, I shared with two good. other people. How do you feel now, poetry people? Getting everybody out except for Michael. So, uh, yeah, uh, I got a uh, large coffee for Michael. Oh, oh no, it, it has to be a medium. I got a coupon for a free medium. Oh, oh, but put it in a large. Okay, I'll just do this. <laughs> That's what I think of you. I know what you did, man. I know what you did. And I know what you did to, get, to earn this free stuff. And I can't do anything, but that's what you get. Don't come back here again. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, I'm, st I'm still going to drink this, but not the part you spit in. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. But I got to tell you, my brother went to school to study free verse. And your cheating nearly killed him when he found out. I put he, dropped out of, he dropped out of college because of you. I put him in his place. Tag out, David. <laughs> Michael, welcome to Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, I'm just Thank so you. happy to have you here. Um, Thank you, Mr. I Warner. saw the numerous awards that you have won. And, you know, so this prestigious honor, I want you to, to write our, our new movie, okay? An entire poetry movie, okay? Uh, I, I can do it. I just need to set one condition. I write it in my kitchen. <laughs> uh, but we have, I mean, we have a kitchen here. We have, um, oh, we have a living room. We have a sofa. I'm we have... sure. Oh, Mr. Warner, I'm sure they're beautiful. Just my kitchen, the one I share with two other people. Um, you could bring the two people. They can stay with you. Like no, no, got, no, it, it's like, about five bedrooms. Like, like it's, no... it's really got to be my kitchen. I'm, I seen your kitchen. I mean, we have a new Samsung refrigerator. We have the updated dishwasher inside the dishes. And then we have the kitchen cabinets. That yeah, came, yeah. You know, I'm our kitchen sure cabinets. Sure, it's so. wonderful, just spectacular. But it's really got to be my kitchen, like where there's nobody seeing me except my my two human roommates. Um. Well, I mean, we all need to see you because you're going to be working with people like, uh, you know, you got Steven Spielberg. You're going to be working with uh, Michael Bay. Um, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna work with all these, all these great people. So I just, you know, um... yeah, yeah. So how about I go home, I work on the script, I come back, and then I meet Spielberg and Bay and the other people. Yeah, that got Alex. Through. Um. So I don't know what to say, uh, Mr. Michael. Um. We're craft services here at the movie set. Um. I, I know you're the the you're the writer, but you can't just come in and use this kitchen as your office kitchens and me go way back there um have you ever heard of a writer's process you know some writers nowadays use just a typewriter some go out to lake tahoe and they just focus on writing i need to be in a kitchen. Right do their job at a cubicle it's been proven by the companies yeah, and plus your 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 script is on the hot griddle right now, and they're getting a little singed right oh, behind. Oh, oh. So yeah, we gotta cook lunch for like 150 crew members and and extras. Come on. Well, before you do that, can you top off this coffee in this medium or this large cup that once contained a medium for me? 
We're here to not just service you, but also other people. But we will do that. Yeah, well, thank you. But we do need a little bit of space here, man. Come on. I mean, uh, again, writer's process. Uh, no offense to you, union guys. I make a lot more than you do. Okay. Therefore, it, does that make it? I feel like that makes it worse. Yeah, and I wouldn't suggest you disparage our union. Look, yeah. can you just can we just place six feet between you and my fishbowl? Bring, uh, bring back you, Alex. Oh. Yeah, Mr. Warner, that uh, new writer you hired. Yeah. Uh, one of my uh, one of my lighting guys, they uh, they saw him in the kitchen pulling words out of a fishbowl. <laughs> Don't know where he got the fishbowl. Don't know why he was in the kitchen. You know, it's a union kitchen. He's not in the union. Yeah, he can't. He can't be in. No, he can't be in the union kitchen. <laughs> you know, my guys. I just had to come tell you. I saw him. You know, they did. I just, uh, sorry, Mr. Warner. I don't want this thing to be a big flop or a big scandal. I don't want TMZ to get a hold of it is what I'm saying. I guess we should just take them out then. I mean, like, that would be <laughs> the the best thing, right? Sweet. Bring back in Michael. <laughs> oh, sir, sir, sir. I don't believe we've met. Hello? Is Anthony... And I represent people who know people uh, in the craft services. Um, oh, uh, Anthony, nice to meet you. I'm trying to write right now. Yeah, yeah, you could you could hold off on that because uh, I got to warn you about something. You don't mess with the craft services, guys. Oh, no, they're great. They refilled my... <laughs> Alejandro here. Oh. Alejandro here's and oh. Alejandro and Knuckles over here. They might be gonna teach you a lesson. Oh. oh, hey guys, there might be something in the deep fat fryer. Why don't you make Mr. John, Mr. Michael look a little closer at it? We don't want anything to happen now. Well, that's my writing ear. Ah! We're, we're listen. We're not. We're not. We're not totally unfair. We're not letting back up. Let oh. back up. Yeah, we, we didn't have it turned on. We, we, we turned it off. It was all right. I dropped That's my coffee. Up. Yeah, it must have been the coffee. We'll fill it back up. But Tag Michael. out everybody but Michael. Hey, Michael, I hear about this. Um, uh, I hear about this thing in, uh, in Warner Brothers in the kitchen. You met a couple of folks, huh? Yeah, union guys. I, I shouldn't have said bad things. I respect unions. <laughs> Okay, um, so us at the FBI, we heard about it. So we, I want to wire you, you know, just have a conversation with them again. Okay, um, and this will work out perfectly. You know, I know you've been pulling poetry out the, the fishbowl, but yeah. this, will, this will set your career like zoom. You'll go high in the sky, okay, if you, if you just do this one favor for the FBI. You know, like, I, I can't imagine anything about work, writing for Warner, but let's try it. Okay, you you're you're willing to wear the wire and yeah. okay, okay. All right. Yeah, so I'll just just there we go. Uh, yeah, oh, put it, that's that's perfect. Yeah, you won't see it. I'll be listening yeah. all the time, okay? okay? And just if you're in trouble, just say the safe word. Okay, what's the safe word? What, what what's the safe word? I'm a liar. I say I'm a liar? Yeah, you say I'm a liar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't see that being misconstrued at all. Thank you. No, so no. Let's cut. Okay. Let's cut back. Let's bring back. Uh, yeah. Got my two my muscle guys and my muscle woman. Come on in, muscle woman. Look, I'm just trying to write here. <laughs> After this meeting, why'd you ask us to come back for specifically at this time? I have a lot of respect for unions. But I just wanted to go over in detail, in your words, exactly what happened last time we met in this uh, uh, craft services kitchen. You know, hey, what he's saying about liking unions. Yeah. Hey, you know, I actually need a pen. Does anyone have a pen? Hey, I see you have a pen in your shirt. Can I no, borrow? No, 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 please. Oh, 
Okay, no worries. Oh, I found another pen. It's okay. It's okay, okay, great. So, yeah. so how about so last time you, you were a little mad at me because of how I treated the craft services. Why don't you one of you recap exactly what happened, in, including any physical uh, uh, altercation that may have occurred between me and a friar that was not currently on. All right, uh, Muscle Lady, do you think anything sounds fishy? Something sounds fishy to me about this. No, no absolutely no. Nothing sounds fishy. Okay. Muscles, knuckles? Well, basically, we beat you up. Yeah. Okay, and, and how did you beat me up? Like, specificity is the sole narrative, as they say. Well, there was a, first we intimidated you with our strength. I think okay. for actually first, I think I uh, made like a snide comment that could have been like a double entendre. I remember that was there's yeah. like that was the beginning of that, yeah, okay. really Great. It was emotional. Got it. And then it got physical. But, okay, and like how did it get physical? Well, just, just refresh my memory. Like I, I don't, I'd hate to upset you all again, especially Mrs. Muscles. You were there, but uh, yeah, I was I there. Like to retell it. Yeah. Grabbed you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then did some kind of illegal violence. Oh, illegal, you say? You. Yeah, it was definitely a secret illegal move that we used. Mm -hmm. A secret. I love secrets. Let's all it, share this. Illegality. Michael, we yeah. need more. We need more, Michael. And well, that I'm going to need more. That was it. That That is all that happened. Okay, okay, but there was a fryer, and I dropped my coffee, and maybe my ear was dunked into not boiling oil. Are you, are you referring to the point when I extorted money from you in a racketeering-style arrangement? You know, I don't remember that at all, but go on. <laughs> I don't remember me doing that exactly. We need dead bodies, Michael. Tell us where the bodies are buried. Uh, hey, any of you friends, now that we're friends, know where any bodies are buried? Yeah, actually. Anything like that. We are very actually, upward. It was only this one time that we resorted to the violence. That yeah, yeah, when? You were, you were, you were in our kitchen. At okay. At appropriate time. Right? And? Yeah, and we're handing uh, citizens apart from that. Um, okay. I, I thought we were friends and you could share details, but okay. We're not friends. We're we're the intimidators, and you're the person being intimidated. Yeah, yeah. Like so, uh, uh, how would you intimidate me if you had to? Well, probably with knuckle smashing. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Face twisting, maybe. Yeah, oh. and I would punch you right there, right where that you keep your pen. Obviously, that's important to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is a lovely pen, by the way. Where'd you get that? Oh, oh, this? This, yeah. this is part of my process. Have you heard of writer's process? I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, yeah. Like All right, some... I think we have enough. I think we have enough. This is great. This is great. I've been Yes, great. yes. We got it. Jesus. Hands up. Hands up. This is a woman. How could you? Take the one with the pen. That's the one we need. Everybody else can go. Uh, I'm a liar? Yeah, and you're under Liar, arrest. You said it for false poetry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Can I put my hands down? Yes. Okay, I know this is. And see, I think I was seeing. Think I was seeing. <laughs> <laughs> and that was seen. All right. So many muscles. All right. So <laughs> at this time, I'm going to show you something that I know you all want, or hopefully you all want something from here. It is our Etsy shop. So here it is. Um, if you go here, Etsy.com shop inner city improv, look at all these cool things you can get. Uh, you shirt sweaters. So can I get some people? Actually, I need to drink a little something. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Cheer. <laughs> Alex doesn't even know where he's aiming himself at. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, 
we are actually <laughs> we are actually uh, before we go into our second set i would like to bring up our md um and come on up it, that is matt mark Merritt, <laughs> and mark he has been underscoring for that last section and then he's also going to be playing for our musical improv teams and right here let's see i am going to uh let's give us let's give a hand to mark all right mark. and i have just posted there's a virtual tip jar there if you'd like to tip him um he deserves it because he's very helping us out with all his music and and now at this time i would like to call up david shapiro to be the host of team two thank you i just realized that uh we we switched it from two teams to three teams how about that here is team here is team two our first musical team of the night our timekeeper for this is alex taylor and we have from manila andrea Faye padilla from Fremont, California, Danielle Maher. From Sevilla, Spain, Angel Canez. And from San Francisco area, Laura Zaro. That is your team, too. Thank you. And Alex is your timer. Alex. Yay, Alex. We are team two. We would love to have a suggestion of something that's in your garage that seems to always like why is it there you'd be better off without it or someone's garage you know of you don't have a garage those sawing horses what? would you repeat that sawing horse, horse. oh a saw oh, a sawing horse a sawing horse thank you a horse thank, you. Saws. <laughs> thank you a saw horse <laughs> Would you get a load of that? The crows are making tools with the with your saw, Jack. I mean, that's just crazy. I have been working with them for months. We're going on tour. You and the crows. That's amazing. Well, you know what? They took off, they took over half the yard. I think they're building a fast food restaurant out there. <laughs> well, listen, you told me you like hamburgers. If you like hamburgers, my crows are going to make you a fast food restaurant. Jack, where do you get all your genius? I mean, you do everything for me. Wow. What are you going to call the restaurants? I'm going to call it Marsha's Place because it's for you, Marsha. Marsha's Place. Oh, my God. Marsha. <laughs> so honored. Oh. I'm gonna have a restaurant. <laughs> He's naming it after me. Jack, Jack, I leave for love. I sure do appreciate. You're gonna have a restaurant. You really deserve it. Yes, you do. You're the best sister in the world. And I would make anything for you. You are the best sister in the world. You are the best. Hey, why don't I go on the road with you? That would be amazing. Sisters on the road. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. We're going to have a blast. Yeah. Best burgers in town. 
But you might even me. add a little lasagna to it. I, I'm in the mood for lasagna all of a sudden. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. welcome here to the school. Here, there is no option for amusement. It's only hard work. Hard work? But they yeah. said that hard work must be equivalent to play. Oh, yes. That's, it's our motivation program. You see, because if you work a lot, a lot, a lot, then maybe you can feel like the pleasure of working. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how we call it the horsey school because people should study and work like they are really, really, really committed to the task. I'm committed. Yeah. You were committed like 40 years ago. You're the best. Yeah. You're my idol. Really? You, you you knew me yes oh my god that's amazing i never had a fan before oh oh now i'm i you have a fan oh maria maria you're making me feel like please you're the daughter i always wanted to have Maria, I wanted you to work hard. Maria, I wanted you to win. And now you're grabbing me, you're making my heart sing. jump again I've seen you to the tricks and go around the barn and play competition oh you're just the best yes the best the best the best the best the best Maria, you are the best. You are transforming the school. I want to be cool. I want to help kids. I want to bring them the joy. I was hiding from them. Maria. The best. Madame Agnes is the best. Look, the horses, they love you so much. Oh my god. Let's do a big party here. The best party ever. <laughs> My sister needs her food. Ah, oh, the heck with your sister. She eats too much anyway. My God. Oh. Hey, hey. Wait. What? Did you just insult my sister? I'm sorry. Get, come over here. Come over here. I mean, one of your feathers is now plucked. Oh, I don't think that's very nice of you. I don't think that's very nice of you. Besides, your sister said she wanted lasagna. And I don't think you're very nice because you never have anybody make lasagna in there. Well, I you have to finish making the building before we can bring the food in. 
Your sister got angry at me because I took apart her bed to get the bed frame to try to make part of a restaurant. She doesn't appreciate it either. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? I think you criticized my sister again. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, look, I just want to, I just need a vacation, to be honest with you. I, I do like building. I like making things, but it's just, I don't feel appreciated. If you could just give me something, something good to motivate me. I can tell that you're tired and maybe you need a vacation, but have you heard that expression, let them eat crow? You need to get back to work. You have no rights here. You live under my thumb. You must get all your work done or you'll be on the menu yourself. anything to go wrong I don't want anything to go wrong don't want anything to go wrong I don't want anything to go wrong attacking me with the saw. No! Oh, Jacqueline! That's, you've been under so much stress and traveling under the hot, hot weather. And, and that last restaurant in Portland, I mean, it nearly burned up just from the hot weather. I think you need to more, have more hydration. Oh, hydration is good. Yeah. Do you have any libation for me? I do have a margarita. That would be good. Oh, no. Here, Here. Ha have a margarita in my cool cup. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, nice a little, little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Wouldn't it go good with the nice lasagna? Oh, sister, you got a little margarita on ya. <laughs> a 
a sister. You're such a card. You really work hard at making me feel good. But I have to tell you one thing. I think that you should know. After this restaurant is finished, I'm gonna go. realized that my life it is empty and meaningless you're a great sister but I really think it's time for a man in my life oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm going You can't leave me with all the clothes in the garage. You can't leave me with all the clothes in the garage. I can't leave you. I can't. All right, all right. I'll, I will, I'll stop eating that lasagna before dinner. It's the fault of the lasagna. Maybe so. Maybe so. And at that, I think it's the pot you put in the lasagna, actually. Yeah, I think it was bad pot. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. But listen, I invited. I invited a couple of friends over. Oh. And um, oh, here they are now. Oh. Mm, hello. Good evening. This is my friend Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm so happy and, to be here. Oh, this is Matilda. Uh, hi, Matilda. Hello. Matilda, Nancy, this is my sister. Oh, the one you had this fusional thing with. <laughs> the dependent, like. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I want the two of you to go there. I live, we and my sister and I are leaving and there's a little present for you out, out in the garage, something that for you to take care of and, and have for your own. Come on, sis, let's go on our trip. Bye bye. Have fun in the garage. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Oh my god, these two are amazing. Amazing. Oh, oh, I wish she would give her sister some free time. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so hard when like people I, I have this kind of dependency over the others. Oh my god, and there is gift here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> Oh my God, it's a man, it's a man. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like the way out. Oh, 
Yes, you need a man. Oh, yes, and you can. This man was for Jacqueline. But now she is so mean. The man is for you. The future is true. Just hold the little man. Oh yes, you need a man and you can have it You need a little bit of love, emotion, precaution A man Oh man! <laughs> the man is back! All right. Wow, what an amazing scene! <laughs> okay, so let me go to headphoneless. All right. Um, at this point, I am going to introduce our, actually, before we do that, I'm going to go to what's on the menu so we can talk a little bit about the upcoming, what is upcoming in our and your future. So, first of all, this you know, because you are here, 6 p.m. every Sunday, please come invite your friends. Uh, this it, very welcoming environment. We love having people come. Every Saturday, we have, sorry, wrong thing, bi-weekly Mondays, we have oh, inner city open mic. And this is a really great opportunity for you to strut your stuff because you get five whole minutes to do well, almost whatever you want. So you can sing, you can do, uh, you can do, stand up there's a lot of different things and it's it's a really fun thing next one is right this monday so that's what tomorrow so show up tomorrow at 6 p.m you can sign up there are 20 slots they usually ha don't fill up so just uh register to perform and there you go um short form jam we have that only once a month so please come tomorrow that's at 6 p.m tomorrow and uh it's the next one is not until August 10th, so show up a little bit early, about 15 minutes early, so you can register, and it's a lot of fun. Then on Saturdays, we have Toast and Jam, and that's uh, in the morning at 10 a.m., and so you're get, you put into different rooms, and that's more of a low-key improv. It, uh, it's not live-streamed. Uh, the others aren't either, though, other than this one. And it's a good way to practice with a small group of people. You're put into a room with a small group of people. It's a more intimate setting. setting. So it's a really fun thing to do. I highly recommend it. And oh, look, there's Etsy again. Hi, Etsy. Uh, we have, as I mentioned before, we have communities. We have a, a group. We have a page. Please join us. Uh, that You don't have to pay for this. It's free. All we ask is for your uh, support of uh, socially. Just join our groups, our YouTube and our two Facebook things. Also, um, we need headliners. So if you know of any headliners, if you are in a group, please contact us. We are not doing sketches at this time, but we are open to doing them. So if you have a sketch that you yourself have done or someone you know, we try to promote these uh, sketches for people who are just getting into making sketches and would like to have a, a, an audience. 
so let us know and volunteers are always welcome so if you want to volunteer to time or to host uh, give us a just you can message us on our facebook page and while you're there like our page or our group or any any of that all right bon appetit so at this time uh, we have a group three and i have uh need to know who so can i have oh alex that alex yes. alejandro it's alejandro today all yeah, right well, thank you <laughs> i always go by alejandro whenever there's an alex present but uh laura i may ask you uh something as well because yes we do have a team three but uh two of the members of team d are currently not in the zoom <laughs> Hello. Hi, hello, Alex. I may help yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, here. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Just. W oh. Timer. Yes. Yeah, so no, the oh, timer. Oh, Laura. Yeah. No, I just wanted to say. Oh, okay. I might. I might as well introduce because right now only two of the four members for Team Three are ah, currently sorry, here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah that's that. That's what I mean. Are we going ahead or, Laura? Can you hear uh, me? Yes, we'll just we'll just do a shorter set. Yeah. Okay. So for team three, uh, so we have uh, Matt Cabasi. Uh, I apologize if I, if I get anyone's names correct. Uh, uh, sorry, incorrect. By the way, team three is also another. It's also another musical team as well. Uh, Bill uh, Butrick, if you're here. Uh, Susan uh, uh, Skuko, if you're here as well, and Don Sloven, all members of Team 3, can you um, please turn on your cameras? I'm turning on my camera. Okay. Uh, timekeeper is Michael Ostrowskis, and uh, uh, yeah, I uh, don't know where Bill and Susan are. Uh, Laura, do you think maybe we should invite a few other people to join them so it's not just the two of them doing an entire Yeah, let's musical get somebody who didn't do a musical. Uh, can I yeah. get a couple of non-musical people to come in here? Greg. People that are are not volunteers and not musical. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Perfect. Ooh. Cooper. David Shapiro. Oh, yeah, Karen. Oh, Karen. yes. Thank you. Cooper. And so, yeah, so this is team three. Group take, oh, take it away. Wow. Okay, hi, we're team three. Can oh, um, yeah, can we get a suggestion? Something which is um, a suggestion? Cartoons. I see contract. I think I heard a word. First thing I heard was contract, which I said myself, but you get the idea. Contract. You have not adhered to all of the pieces of the contract. There are three, and you have done the first two. Well, I I have until uh, I have until four o'clock to do to uh, fill my event to fill my end. Oh well, it does say that in the contract, so I guess it's so. But it's uh, it's nearly four o'clock now. How will you do item three on this contract? I'll do it. Don't worry. Okay. If you say so. But I really appreciate this opportunity, by the way. It's really nice of you to, uh, um, you know, give me this chance. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes, I'm doing something nice. Yes. I really, I, I always see you in the newspaper. You're, you're quite the philanthropist. Yes. I give away money for no reason. That's right. That's why I like you. Well, thanks. I, um... I've always wanted to be liked. Not that... I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll clean your car windows uh, and it'll be done in like two minutes. Great. I didn't think that money could buy being liked. But... 
not only are you cleaning my my stuff, but you're even valuing me. You're valuing me. I'm so glad that I have money. That I can get all this clean. Practically gives to the community. He's helping me with the light in the community. Hey, getting your car clean ain't free. That's right. For people like you, it's, it's like the price of dinner if you can really make a difference in your life. And I'm giving that to you. Maybe you can finish this so that you can eat and like me. I scratch one of your windows. I damaged one of your windows. What am I going to do? I have a reputation and it's shattered just like the window. The window, it matters. I'm sorry, I've, I've never damaged a window before. I, I clean windows all the time. I don't know what happened. Hmm. I understand. I'll just buy a new car and a new cleaner. I hope you can get a job. Thanks for throwing me away. I'd say less than an afterthought, but kind of like that. You're a dipshit. You went from being liked to being hated so quickly. Sweet. So, uh... You come over, you start trying to wash my car windows. I didn't ask you to do it, okay? I know the deal, all right? Here, money's not a problem. Here you go. Here, rain in money, no, no, okay? No. You don't you... understand, I, That's my thing. I love cleaning windows. I yeah, see a window, you... I have to clean it. Yeah, you got to ask somebody first before you start cleaning their freaking windows, man. Would, never a where's the Windex? I love Where, the where's the Windex? I don't use Windex. I use ammonia and newspapers. Trust me, oh. look at this. What the fuck? You're messing up my window. You can see right through it. Maybe you need your glasses clean. Come here. You're supposed to see through a window. Yeah. I know, that's the whole point. Look. Okay, we, we seem to have a miscommunication happening here. I have a very clean yeah. screen before you washed it. Now you're washing it, it's not clean. It's your glasses. Your glasses aren't clean. Oh, you blame Let it on my glass? glasses? Oh, you blame it on my glasses? Listen. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Use your eyes. Look at your dirty glasses. Oh, 
I'm clear. Quit using dirty glasses. Well, it's not the first time that you said that you were going to clean my window and you didn't. I got the cleanest car in the block, except for my windows. You think I should keep going on and paying you the way I do? I got to tell you, this ain't the way to go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to sit together, me and you. I'm going to show you that Windex works. <laughs> and then I won't look like such a jerk. Lincoln Continental, the whole thing is clean except for a window. Jesus, what? You missed a spot. Uh, I, oh, uh, I, Come on, if you're going to do this, do it right. Sorry, sir. I, um, no. I, I think I'll get it this time. I just need. I can't, I can't believe that your uh, company went bankrupt and you're, uh, you're cleaning windows now. I mean, you used to be like a philanthropist. Uh, yeah. Some people didn't appreciate my philanthropy and a lot of people hated me. It's complicated. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I appreciate that you're sorry to hear that. That means a lot to me. I've, I've really gone through a lot of emotional turmoil because of all of this. I guess, is this like a, a moment of reflection? Sort of, I am staring into this car window and its cleanliness is really reflecting a lot back on, on me. I feel like there's something to learn. I don't know what it is. I feel like there's something. Something I remember, I think it was two weeks ago. What about two weeks ago? No, I don't know. You went out for this guy. I don't know why. And then I couldn't help reading into the reading in the paper. This company turned into vapor. Lo and behold, he was scraping by and crawling. So here I am, just to see how you like to have someone looking over your shoulder and giving you a giving you a hard time. Well, well, I feel like I made them. Excuse to have an attitude. 
an excuse to say terrible things, terrible things that they would never otherwise say. My nice guy today, ever since your money went away. When he made me You know, maybe it's for the better, you know, that things have changed, you know? Well, I almost agree. But one thing I will say is that it's nice to not have to clean windows. Money gives you that. Sleep! <laughs> I told you, if you sit inside the car, yeah, you told me. Right? Yeah, no, you, you, you were right. You were right. And uh, I can't. Is there anybody in there? I can't see through these windows. Yeah, it's it, dark windows for a purpose. It, it, the window, so you can't see inside. It's, it's, it's a disguised window. What do you want, Buster? Yeah, move, get, I'm a, move, move away. Will you just yeah, move away? I checked Wait. the windows. There's a law. There's a law about the. the Tint of your window. Are you sure that you're obeying this law? Yeah, we don't really worry so much about the laws. It's just, you know. Oh, I, I see. Well, I didn't I see you hanging out on the corner the other day. I, I, in there a law that's loitering? I, Wait a second. Okay. You're the. You're the f famous philosopher, for also philanthropist, man. For, for your, you, you give a lot of money away. What a free money guy. Yeah. I did once when we I. Need, had... we, we need money. Marcy and I, we, we, we fell on bad times and uh, we need money. So uh, you got money, we want money. Well, if you give me some for washing these opaque windows of yours, I'll have some. But my money has uh, has gone the way of all things recently on account of my karma issues. Don't it figure? Uh -huh. Don't it figure? We yeah. need free money, guy. Got no free money. We have all the people we could have met. Uh, we should have been. Uh... Not to mention that this opaque uh, window thing is terrible. See right through it. You can't do right through them. They, they really need to be uh, made transparent. Uh, and I'm just speaking as a citizen, not as a former for the We'll clean them for you. It's the money. It's the money. And it's the money. Got a lot of opinions. It's the money. We got nothing but you. Seems that we have more opinions, <clears throat> but not much money. <clears throat> Certainly would like it to be the opposite. We'd rather have money. I'm going to look inside my index because Marcy and I, we want a cleaner with Windex. <laughs> you messing up my car. And it's the only car I got because money we ain't got, we ain't got. Well, you want to 
this guy. You're not gonna pay me to get the window. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. Need some other windows. Okay. Hey, get out of here. The bomb. We're broke as shit. I we don't care. care. We got each other. We sure do. And nothing else. Oh, Let's dance. Banana peel. Fuck. <laughs> you look very high up there. I can see you've climbed a long way. What do you expect to uh, do up there? Well, this, this book that this book that you want is uh, it's a very rare book. So um, it's all the way up there. Why do you keep oh. the rare books up there? It seems like those would be the, the most popular ones. I think those <laughs> are the most popular ones. I heard you. Ah, uh, here you go. Don't draw. Oh, oh goodness. Um, you do have it. That's a pretty interesting hobby you got there. Yeah, Harry Potter, the book zero. A lot of people don't even believe it exists. Can I um, take a moment with myself with the book? Over here? Uh, okay. What do you mean? I'm just going to go into the back just to look at it with my eyes, not the camera. You can look at it here. You, you can look at it here, it's fine. Okay. It's legit, it's legit. Oh, I believe it's, it's, it's a real legit. Harry Potter zero. I know, it's legit, I just uh, want to document it. You're taking pictures of all the pages? No, that would be uh, Give me the book, give me the book, give me the book, come on. I, I need to feel it. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah. The book is fifty dollars. That's what I need. Fifty? I that is <laughs> here is fifty. Here's the book. It's zero. Number zero. Number zero. 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 I got the book from the nook and I gave it to someone that I thought was a crook. I hope you like that book. A little louder, please. A steel. Me. Steel? Yeah. This is like probably five million dollars about. Well, today's your lucky day, I guess. I this book. I'm really bad with decimal points and zeros. I know Harry Potter zero, but the word million, I don't know what it means. That's why I keep getting fired. I used to work at the bank, but that lasted about 15 minutes. Something about thousands, millions, and billions. Almost they went to jail. Well, all I can say these days is book for sale. All I can say these days is book for sale. Enjoy your book. I will. 
good. Enjoy your next job. Oh, I, I, I haven't gotten fired yet. I know. <laughs> I know. I just make, you know, a billion dollar misjudgments, like uh, case in point. Yeah, on your last job. But, no. Um, you didn't make any mistakes here. This is worth $50. Five million, they're 50 is bigger than five million. You know what? Better. As long as you enjoy it, that's what matters. It is. Hey, could you guys shut up and pump the gas here? I've been sitting here for at least a half an hour. And see. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. If you're going to pull one of those out. There she goes. Peter. All right. <laughs> All right. That was amazing. Uh, thank you so much for jumping in at the last minute. Our two who did not sign up for musical and ended up doing it anyway. So you had a, a double dose tonight. And I would really, really like to thank Mark Merritt because that music was amazing. Thank you so much. I love, I so enjoy singing to your songs. It was just very, very a lot of fun. And I am once again going to enter into the chat that uh, Venmo, in case you are so inclined to put into that tip jar. All right, and now another thanks I'd like to give is to, oh, before I give any more thanks, I'm gonna have people promote. So if you have something that you'd like to promote, come on up. I could promote my cat, but. Oh, good. Karen. Hi. Hi. Um, this she is, is Friday um, at 9 p.m. Central Time. We're in uh, improv date night. It's a fun little form. You, if you're home alone on Friday night, you can come a date with improvers. So I will put the Facebook event link in the chat. All right. Okay, date night. Sounds good. Hi, hi everyone. Hi. Uh, uh, please watch uh, Typical Heroes under Zmac and uh, see what you mean under Zmac. And uh, there is a improv school here in the Philippines for Third World Improv. I've graduated there. Uh, you can check them out. Uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you. And make sure everybody's putting these in the chat. So Karen, put hers in the chat. Put yours in the chat, too. Not only the chat, but also on our Facebook page. Michael. I'd like to promote, uh, since Nick Condon isn't here, the Curious Comedy Open Court. That's an online improv jam, a long-form improv jam that's delightful and fun that runs every Wednesday starting at 9.30 p.m. Pacific. So sorry for pretty well every other time zone, but it's a really great, <laughs> lovely bunch of people uh, running it. Again, it's called Curious Comedy Open Court Online, and I'll share the link. Great for those, or for us night owls. <laughs> Angel. Hi, hello. So I'm part of a team called In Professionals, and every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, we do an online show for half an hour. And uh, if you want, you can watch it on the Facebook page, Socially Distant Improve, every, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. 7 p.m. Eastern. Great. Anyone else? I, nobody else. All right. Well, then we're going to continue on with... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did so, was someone calling me? I could have sworn someone said, "Don't do this," which is Don. So it's Don to do this. So I that's why I I didn't press the right button with the camera because I thought you said Don to do this. I thought I said that too, and yet still you're doing it. I am. Okay. The Jim Prof Festival has many classes and a variety of things, including also a jam. The jam is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. It is summertime, just like uh, everyone else is going on vacation and stuff. If you want to do that, please confirm by going to my Facebook messenger, message me. And uh, uh, that's all. And do it as soon as possible so I know if there's going to be human beings. If not, I'm going to go out and go play in the Philippines. Ooh, 
Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And that's it. Nobody else. Then at this point, I would like to ask everybody who volunteered tonight to turn on your cameras. I'd like to thank all of our volunteers. We have our tech volunteer. We have our hosts. We have our timers. Come on. I know we have more than that. All right. Hand to all of you. Thank you. Good job. Uh, we couldn't exist without our volunteers. So when you come, when you sign up, when you come, come early and just let us know you want to volunteer, you want a time, you want to host. Uh, we have other events that we would like also to have more participation of hosts in. So if that's something you're interested in, contact one of us or message us on our Facebook page. All right. Now, um, at this time, I am going to introduce a special group that will be performing a completely improvised musical show without any spoken dialogue and they are creating some unique exciting musical formats new to the zoomosphere so do voce musical improv all they need to get started is a suggestion of a non-geographical location like a restaurant or a bathroom, but not those. All right, so can somebody just uh, shout out a, ooh, I see somebody typed already. It says train car. So, uh, and by the way, uh, I wanna mention that none of this improvised music would be possible without the amazing musicianship of Eric Gerson on the keyboard. So, I see we have a suggestion and Soto Voce Musical Improv are proud to present Train Car the Musical. so fast well that's okay 
We'll get to where we're going pretty soon. I can't wait for our new life to start. I know. We've wanted to move out west for so long and now we're going. It's finally happening. I didn't think it would ever, would ever get out of that town. But we worked and we planned and we're passing through the countryside. And it's all so beautiful and will lead us to our new adventure. Our new adventure. In the west, and soon we'll see the ocean and smell the salty air. In the west, our new life lies. Who knows what we may find? But we're traveling out of our path to a new future life. We're riding into our future. I can't wait to start this new life with you Away from all our troubles You and I, it all starts today Holding hands as we gaze ahead But I know we need to find our way as we make a new home. Working on the trains all day. Hey, I've been working on the trains all week. We've been working on the trains for 10 years. And I gotta tell you why even go home? Cause this is where I wanna be. And this is where I want to be with you. Ah, uh, Mac. Mac, hey. Run, you know friend, where everybody. I be. Yeah. Hey. Mac, let me just say, why would you want to be Yard. We got it all going 
Civilized. I love that there's a car that serves cocktails. Even they have the finest champagne. It's so nice to be traveling with you. We don't often get to do this. And I love traveling with you because you appreciate the finer things. <sighs> the finer things like this. Champagne and friendship. Massages and luxury too. I know this train is so loud, <laughs> but when we get to the city, all our plans will be realized. I can't wait. Mm. Ah. We're going to be so rich and we're famous. Gonna, we're going to hit the big time, big time. Strolling down the avenue with a 
expensive Broadway tickets in my purse. I can't wait to be beating up a Times Square Elmo and really having the NYC experience. I can't wait to dine in a fancy restaurant where they have servings that are only this big. And I can't wait to take a ferry to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> I can't wait to be in Central Park, strolling in the springtime. I can't wait to be sipping cappuccino at a lovely corner bistro. I can't wait to see the ballet where they dance on tippy toes. And I can't wait to see the Philharmonic play soft and slow. Oh, the city is where Waiting. It's opening its arms. It's waiting just around the bend. And we're gonna take it with storms. Woo! I can't wait to be drinking fashionable cocktails in a high penthouse bar. I can't I can't wait to do it all with I can't wait to do it all with often wonder what's out there besides the terrain where are all these people going when i'm just stuck here i want to find my
this train car. starts today I can't wait to taste it uh, an adventure an adventure to an adventure train to the future we can have an adventure on our way to our adventure not sure Absolutely amazing. And wait one second. One. One. Two. Two. All right. I was told they were going to sing a goodbye. Apparently not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can. <laughs> we thought you'd say something first. We thought you'd That's say right. something first. But now we'll say goodnight. Good night. like uh, was that the sound of music where they're all on the <laughs> stairs <Good night. laughs> all right um can sotto voce come up here for a second 
Soto Voce, musical improv. So what is next on your agenda? Okay, Tuesday, we are at PAC Theater at 10.30 Eastern Time. Thursday, we are at the Magnet Theater Twitch Channel at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And Friday, we are on Socially Distant Improv at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And you can find all of this on Soto Voce Musical Improv Facebook page. All right. That was just absolutely beautiful and amazing. And uh, I've seen all of you in other places. And I know Christine in person. Yay! <laughs> Thank you all right, so thank much, you Laura. so much for coming. That was amazing. Thank you, thank you for having thank us. You. Thank and you please stay us. around for our game. And cool. at this time, I am going to introduce our game host, who is the famous Brian Sebi. Hello. Uh, hi, everyone. I literally just got home from driving eight or plus hours from Kansas City. Uh, and along the way, you know, I saw a whole bunch of roadside attractions um, and they have different slogans. So we're going to come up with a game of, of, of roadside attractions for our line game. Uh, and by the way, I also know Christine in person. Yay. Uh, I'm sorry I missed Yay, your set. Woo! I'll have to watch it later. Um, but can we get like uh, an, uh, an object of some sort? Any object, someone shout out or put in the chat or... Beans. Beans? Okay, uh, so th these are going to be slogans for the world famous uh, Putnam County beans. Or just beans of any sort. So come up on screen. I'll, I'll say your name and like, Michael, you're muted. Come see the Putnam County beans. They're a gas. Nice. <laughs> just like that. You just come up with a punchline based on the on the suggestion. Uh you know it's got more bean puns. Laura. <laughs> come uh, see the Putnam County beans. We got this in the bag. Nice. Now. Putnam County beans. You haven't been anywhere till you've been being there. <laughs> Uh, Greg. And I've seen Christine in live too. <laughs> Putnam County beans. They're the best beans in Putnam County. <laughs> Yo, Putnam County beans in Spanish, soy beans. Oh. All right, someone has a different suggestion. Uh, I'm going to put Karen in the hot seat. Oh, and then she disappeared. Um, <laughs> someone shout out some other object or cows. These are the world famous uh, Boston cows or whoever, whatever city. <laughs> the the cows. Come see the famous Boston cows. You'll be hooved. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Merritt. Steer right this way to see the oh. Boston cows. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Danelle. You'll be utterly amazed at these little dairy queens. You can't count with them. Angel. Come and listen to the Boston cows. Moo, moo, moo. Uh, Michael, I'm going to put you in the hot seat. Oh. <laughs> Uh, can I get uh, another, maybe, maybe like um, uh, some sort of like, made, what's a made up like, uh, um, oh like, like a, or some sort of thing you wouldn't normally get a record for, like, like the, the largest can or ball of twine, but what's something else that needs a, a ridiculous record? Smallest shot glass. Ooh, Michael, you're, we're going to get puns for the smallest shot glass. Come see the world's smallest shot glass. You won't be tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all drinks. The small shot glass. And then drink. And then drink. And then drink. <laughs> uh, uh, Greg. 
come see the world's smallest shot glass if you can it's so small <laughs> to Danelle. well now listen here if you missed out on the oklahoma largest ball of twine you must feel real sad but maybe just a teeny bit so have this little shot glass to to you know oh. Oh. angel can and drink with the smallest shot glass only if you can find it. Ha 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 ha. Mark. Come on out to Smith's Bar, home of the world's smallest shark shot glass, where even miners can drink the cocktails. Uh. Uh, Michael, I'm a. I'm, I'm not, okay. <laughs> I, I, need, I need your help for this one. Okay. Uh, give me a location. Like a, uh, a geographical or non-geographical? Uh, give me a geographical location. Like, yeah, like a geographical type. Uh, uh, Death Valley. Death Valley? Okay. Uh, and can someone give a, um, just a, a random adjective? Enormous. Ooh. Enormous. All right. So, Michael, for enormous Death Valley. This is not just Death Valley. This is enormous Death Valley. Let's hear, the, let's hear their, their marketing slogan. Oh my gosh. Come on out to enormous Death Valley. Where you'll die of heat before you get to the center. <laughs> Angel. Come to this enormous death valley, even bigger than your fear to die. Ooh, Karen. Come on out to enormous death valley where we promise more death. <laughs> Mark, take us home. <laughs> oh, but unless I, I, Don, I, I, Don, I'm just, I'm just going to read the sign for it. Enormous death valley. Vacancy. <laughs> Don, you had one. Come on, I know you, you were there. Sucks. Um, enormous Death Valley, right next to the Grand Canyon. And there you go. That's been all the roadside attractions you can see in this great nation of ours. So thank you. And now I need to sleep for a while because I'm punchy and tired. Thank you so much, Brian. Yeah, he just volunteered to do this like like two minutes ago. Yeah, I just got out of my car. Yay. Okay. So thank you, Brian. <laughs> um, so drum roll, please, for next week's headliner. Filbert. From Portland, Oregon. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. look at all those people. They look like a frame. We can't. Yeah. So I wonder how they, yeah, they were in that heat wave. Last there your week. screen. So, there we go. Can't see the did, you, did I share it? You did not. Nope. Okay. Let me if try that saw again. Your face, I, Laura, you I hear there's better. lots of people there. No, can you we see? Believe it? in you, Laura. Can you see? There he is. Ooh. There you go. I it's know a bunch it's of people, people, not just yeah. You thought I was Philbert, but no, it's a whole bunch of people, and uh, so. Luke. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's have our group picture. Everybody, come on up. All right. So one of the sets had a bunch of people showing muscles. So can we get a muscle shot? Get some muscles. No. Wait, can really she put around? Okay. There we go. All right. And now let's all have it. Oh, I like that. A cup picture. <laughs> have a cup picture. If you have a cup, if you don't have a cup, pretend like you have a cup. If you don't have a cup, quick, go buy one. Ready. Oh, and oh. <laughs> all right. Product placement. <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam! Woo!